So today we're going to talk about how to get rid of herpes uh, with something called autophagy, which I'll explain in a second. So herpes, there's many different types. It's identified by the location of the body part. You can have it in your mouth. Um, you can have it in your private parts. It can even go into the brain. It creates a lot of problems. Uh, the herpes virus travels through the sensory nerves, and it can even hang out in these little nerve cell bodies called ganglion. And these viruses can go out of remission and back into remission back and forth uh, with various things that can activate them, stress, uh, sun, chemicals, and they can really make your life miserable. However, on a positive note, there is something you can do about it, and it's called fasting or intermittent fasting. Now, fasting will do some very fascinating things in the body. One is it will trigger a condition called autophagy, the state where your cells are ridding abnormal proteins, breaking them down with certain enzymes and recycling them. Okay, so it's like a self cleaning oven. It will also um, recycle damaged organelles. Organelles are like the mitochondria, uh, endoplasmic reticulum, these different um, little parts of the cellular machinery that could be damaged. And what's really amazing is that autophagy will also target microbes, invading microbes. The term is xenophagy, okay, which xeno comes from the word foreign or strange, and phagy meaning eating. So basically, xenophagy means autophagy against a pathogen or a virus. And what's really good about doing fasting if you had herpes is that herpes travels to the nervous system. And autophagy is more efficient and more effective on neurons more than other cells. So it can be a very good tool to deal with this uh, infection. And I also think that when our bodies are sick, we naturally lose our appetite, which we're naturally going to do fasting as a mechanism to deal with the infection. So there's two things that I would recommend. Number one is to start doing intermittent fasting. And number two, I would also recommend certain natural antiviral uh, compounds like monolaurin. This comes from coconut oil. It's antiviral. Oregano, which is antiviral. Uh, olive leaf extract is antiviral. Garlic is antiviral. Now, a couple points on intermittent fasting. I would really recommend you do it gradual, starting at three meals, no snacks. Do that for a while, and then graduate to two meals, no snacks, and then graduate to one meal eventually, okay? Especially if you have a really bad situation with a herpes because I think this could give you a lot of relief. Now, I, for those of you that are new to intermittent fasting, I have a video down below that explains how to do it effectively. Um, autophagy starts being effective at 18 hours in your fast, okay? And it kind of maxes out at about 23 hours. So if you were, that's why I was recommending doing two meals and then down to one meal to really get the full benefit of this. Anyway, I put some links down below for some more research. Give it a shot, see if it can help you. Thanks for watching. So if you're enjoying this content, go ahead and share it with someone that could really benefit from it.